Shelby, yeah, thank you for coming on. Uh, Case Hatch was on with us yesterday and called you an animal and someone who had shown kind of the right habits and had looked to match himself with guys who were looking to put in extra work early on. What's been kind of your mindset and workouts since you've gotten here and how do you feel like you're performing so far? Um, well, I just put it straight. Like I'm, I'm a work, I'm a workaholic. All I do is work. All I know is work. I came from working. My parents work, so it's just, it's just in my head right now. All right, Jacob. LV, what's what's your impression so far overall of the wide receiver group? Because yesterday we we spoke with Ricky Pearsall, and he said over and over that you guys are slept on, and you guys kind of feel slept on. Do you feel that way? And if so, why do you feel that way? Yeah, I feel like we're getting slept on because, like, Frank is a dog, Ricky's a dog, GP's a dog, and I feel like they're getting overlooked. And they're just thinking, like, oh, they're a young team. They're going to come up soon. But they don't realize that we're going to come up right now. That's how I feel. Trevor? Uh, LB, one thing that was consistently mentioned um, about you by evaluators and in your recruitment was just how polished and refined your route running is. Um, how did you kind of hone in on that skill throughout your career, and how do you feel like your skill set meshes in with Coach Hill's system here at ASU? Uh, Coach Hill, he he does a lot of shifts and motions, and like like different. He like runs two plays and ones. I get to like sit in zones, and and I'm a smart football player. I like I like to do that. I like to see how the defense is playing. I like to sit in holes, and I'm just a route runner. And I've been doing that ever since I could remember, back to my ten years like 10 years old since I was 10. Jacob? How do you kind of feel like you are meshing into the group overall as far as what you've been able to do so far and kind of where do you see yourself fitting in as we are speaking right now and kind of what's going on in the last couple of days and weeks? Like, what do you mean fitting in? Just what, what do you see your role as right now in this team? When, is my, when I'm on the field, just go. That's how I'm thinking right now. Because I know Ricky's in front of me. Ricky's a dog. And I just got to keep working, keep working until I get my spot. And Ricky's making it tough. So all I just got to do is keep working. So when I do go in, just shine. That's my mindset right now. Don't play. Hunter? Hey, LV. Um, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, you and Johnny both come, Johnny Wilson both come in pretty highly touted. I'm curious what your first impressions are of him and, and how you feel like you guys complement each other on the football field. Well, when I first saw him, I'm like, damn, he big. Big old freshman, 6'6 six, six freshman. And then realizing that he getting offers, I'm getting offers. And then realizing that we came to the same school, it was like, oh, yeah, we finna kill. We finna just go out and ball out. I told him that it's going to be us two and, like, a couple of other freshmen being freshman All-Americans for sure. Alex? Hey, LV, I'm curious your thoughts on uh, Frank Darby so far as sort of a leader of the wide receiver core and as a captain. Uh, Frank, he's, he's very motivating. He's, he's always have energy 6 a.m. every day. Look, I'm getting, I come in, I'm like, man, he don't sleep or he just don't, he don't sleep. So he's just always up. He's a great leader. He's a great role model. And my dad always told me in order to, in order to lead, you gotta learn how to follow. And I'm for sure following him. All right. Two more questions. Trevor. Uh, LB, you played with Jaden at Ground Zero, and we read that you guys have worked out in California just before you got back here to ASU. Uh, what has stood out through the years that you've known him, and where have you seen him develop the most to this point? I, I would say, like, his arm got a whole lot bigger. Like, his whole freshman year, like, it, I've never seen him throw that far or through that far. It's just seeing how much, how stronger his arm has gotten, is, it, it, it's amazing. Last question, Jacob. Can you just speak to what it's been like for you to be able to work with Prentice Gill so far and kind of how that relationship has gone? Uh, Gill's been recruiting me ever since, well, I can say like ninth grade year when he was like, I think at SC. And then when he went to Oregon and then when he went to here. So he's, it's, he's always been in my phone, I've always been in his phone. So it's like, we, we know each other for like going on five years right now. And, and like, just like, like learning from him is just, it's, it's helpful. 